Josh, look, does it look alright? Well, does it look all over the place? One sticking out, I can see. One hair. No one hair. No point recording all this, I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey all, nice to have you back. Thank you very much. It's your Mr. Zayani here again. No, yeah. you're my Mr. Zayani. <laughs> Mr. Zayani, anyway. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, today we're making chole musala. M some of you might know it as chana musala when you go to your no local Indian restaurants. And this particular dish was taught to me by a chef that I worked with for a couple of years. He was from Goa and he worked in one of our restaurants well, probably about 20 years ago since then. So I'm trying to well, try and replicate his recipe as far as I remember. So let me go ahead and show you what we need. So obviously we'll need a blender a little bit later on, some cooking oil. Now here I have some tin chickpeas. So from our uh, masala tray, spice tray, I will be using chili powder, turmeric powder, salt, cumin powder, garam masala, dhania powder and cumin seeds. The whole spices we will be using is coriander pods or coriander seeds, a couple of sticks of cinnamon, a few cardamom and a couple of black cardamom and some bay leaf, garlic ginger, not paste, just chopped up, tomatoes and onions. So you get some oil into a pot on a pan and while that oil is heating up just get uh, chopping the onions first the oil is nice and hot So it will take about 10 minutes for the onions to soften and uh, while the onions cooking away I can go ahead and get the rest of the tomatoes. So it's been about 3-4 minutes, the onions cooking away, ginger, garlic, Chuck it in, quick mix, and let it cook and soften. In goes the turmeric powder and the chili powder to taste, obviously, and salt. Now we go ahead, add our tomatoes. So the tomato has gone nice and soft, add a little bit, little bit of water to it and uh, give it a mix and let it come to a boil. So as our mixture has come to a boil, we can now go ahead and turn the heating off and uh, let it cool down. So once it's cooled down, we can go ahead and blend it. Let's be a bit careful. Oh, oh look at that. Even though it's got a small, just a minute amount of spice in it, still the smell is so nice and refreshingly tangy. Mm. Actually, you can just have it just that as a soup. The next stage of our cooking is get some oil into a pot. As our oil is heating up the first spice to go in is the cumin seeds about a tablespoon and a bit. By the way that was a teaspoon not tablespoon. So anyway so we go ahead. <laughs> and then rest of our whole spices in there.
and then the rest of our spices. I want to put garam masala in until a little bit later. I will add a little bit of our sauce to first to stop it from burning. Once the masala is cooked, you can see the bubbles of oil. We can go ahead and add in our chickpeas. Now we want to cook the chickpeas in the masala for a couple of minutes. Make sure all the flavor of the masala gets into the chickpeas. Let's look at this, how tasty does that look? We almost like dry roasting it. With no other water, no other liquid, and then we can go ahead add our liquid sauce. Wasting any of it, I'll just put a little bit of water and give it a nice mix and into the pot. Just going to cook it for a few minutes nicely, make sure it's all, whoa, whoa, whoa. all the spice will blend into really well. Our last and final ingredient, the garam masala. A gentle mix. Turn the heat down low and let it simmer for a few minutes before serving. Okay guys, I've got the chole masala simmering in the background. I'm going to go ahead and make a fresh bhatura to go with it. Roll, turn over if you want, get a little bit more oil. Okay, and lift it up. And into the oil. Oh, the flame's gone off. <laughs> oh, yeah, it had to happen, didn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Nothing can be done about that, but... Now we can turn it off. Guys, here we have our freshly made batura. I'm trying to do this in one take, only that's what we're here. Oh. So here you guys, my version of chana masala with bature. Depends on which video you're watching. If you're watching the chole masala video, um, then you know you can find how I made the bature. And if you're watching the bature video, you can find out how I made my chole masala. But anyway, I can't wait to try it. Let's see how it all goes. Look at that. Oh, nice and fluffy bature. Fantastic. And time to dig in. Now, here we go. Oh wow, really, really nice. Really fluffy batura with a really little bit spicy, a little bit darkish in taste, uh, chole masala. I know some people will put um, tamarind to get the tanginess out by putting enough tomato in there so there's no need for tomorrow tamarind in this dish. Also, some people might even put tea in there to make it darker. I just think it's not necessary. The taste is what we're aiming for and this is absolutely fantastic. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And you know, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. Literally, as I was cooking this, I had Chef, Happy Chef 101 and Shalaz Praveen. Thank you very much for your subscription. And guys, you out there, 
If you haven't subscribed, please do so and leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up as well. And I will look forward to seeing you soon on the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys.